I want to make art. And I want to make trouble. You in? Jumping straight into it, I'm going to start with a pale foundation. I'm using Jouer because it's really high coverage. It's important to use a high coverage foundation when going lighter than your skin tone, otherwise there's a risk of looking blotchy where your skin color shows through. Because the eyeshadow kind of goes into the eyebrows, I'm going to do the eyebrows next. I'm using MAC Eyebrow Pencil in Stud, which is a dark, dark brown. So after looking at pictures of her, it seems like her arch is about here, like towards the end of the eye after the pupil. A little bit squared off at the start of the eyebrow. I'm making them a little bit thicker than my own eyebrows. Going up to the arch. I think this is more or less it. Cruella had so many amazing looks in the movie and I also found out some of the actual makeup products that were used to create Cruella's look, which I will be telling you. So to make sure that the black is extra black, I'm going to use a black eyeliner in the corner of the eyes to blacken them up. Now I'm just smudging the edges. Before I go in with the dark eyeshadows, I'm going to start with the white. Below my eyebrows, in the corner of my eyes, and on my lid. The looks makeup artist Nadia Stacy designed for Corella was inspired by 70s punk and this particular look that I'm recreating was inspired by Susie Sue and Nina Hagen. And now some black for a monochrome chick. The eyeshadow palette the makeup artist actually used in the movie is In the Flesh by MAC. I'm now going in with a dark grey and it's Bobbi Brown in Steel. And then I'm using it just below the beginning of my eyebrow and this is like a classic thing that they used to do in 70s punk classic Susie Sue look. I'm just connecting the grey and the black. Next I'm going in with some black gel eyeliner. I'm using Inglot in 77. And a bit of black eyeshadow over the top. I'm then going into my waterline using MAC Eye Call Pencil in Smolder, which is also the same one that they used in the movie. You can find all the products listed in the description. And now I'm going to use these eye candy lashes which I obviously have used a lot because they're knackered, so I excuse them. My favorite eyelash glue to use is the Duo Strip Lash Adhesive, but I like to use the dark tone, especially when it's like a look like this because it dries black. I had so much planned for Halloween, but of course, managed to get a concussion during the most wonderful time of the year in makeup land. But I will do my best to do one more video for Halloween and I will give you a hint of what it's about later on. So now I'm going to do contouring and I'm going to be using the Note Cosmetics Contouring Cream Palette, light to medium. But if you want to be completely true to the movie and use the exact one that they used on Emma Stone, the one that they used was Max Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette. I'm gonna contour my feature to be more like Emma Stone's features. She has a pretty matte look, so make sure to powder well. There's so many bits coming off from this brush. If anyone have a good brush that doesn't does that to recommend, then let me know. So the lip liner that Nadia Stacy used for more or less all the Cruella looks is Lipstick Chat. Lip Pencil Cherry by MAC and she just used a few different lipsticks on top of this but this one was the base for all of them more or less. So the lip shape I'm going to be doing is like very Susie Sue. If you look up any Susie Sue picture she has the exact same lip shape that they used for Cruella. Like a very severe V. And if you're an aspiring makeup artist or love makeup like it's a really good idea to to take inspiration and have a look at punk pants or like 60s or vintage movies because you can draw so much inspiration from all these time periods and not just recycle what you see now you can really broaden your specter you say broaden your specter yeah spectrum so, okay yeah spectrum is a ghost <laughs> okay <laughs> Then the gel eyeliner again to draw her beauty spots. Oh well, I do love spots. <laughs> If 
if you enjoyed this video I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as it will enable you to see all my future videos and it will also support me as a creator to continue making videos so I actually have a hidden clue about my next video at some point throughout this video so let me know in the comments if you can find it thanks for watching